the don't uh, with the, the bank to put in um, a check for you know for the estate of my brother said no of course the stop and shop was closed so they say it's on social street it's not i lived in it's on clinton street it's on clinton, it's clinton. Yeah. and actually it's clinton come on hill road yeah right on right here right so i don't know where this i think this it's based in come hill where the saint Anne's church used to be right first street. yeah so boy i said to, to the person i said you know you got to tell people and what the heck's going on with you know with, well, well, yeah. They said, I don't know. Well, I was told, well, we, my wife, we go along and get up there to be yeah. Yeah. To help. They told her that they should have handed and they're going to go to AI. So it's going to be uh, one of those. Well, the same things. three bucks a month, um, I made my, we call the statement digital. That's fine. Yeah. But, you know, the, the other stuff, I want hard copies of everything. Yeah. But, uh, anyway. I put in a bunch of checks and I got one that checks for 250 bucks. I called them up and then, well, it says, it said 90 days, 90 days. Right, right, right. Because then we processed it, it was 91 days. But you bounce the check because you process yeah, it. Yeah, I, I, I got there off at four yeah. and you process it right. the next day. Yeah. Where you bounce the guy's check. Yeah, and he charged you 35 bucks. Right, yeah. yeah. I, I, don't, I, I, I don't have a lot of. How do I say it? mercy with banks because they're using my money to make more money. Oh, so at least you can do is kick as much. Yeah, yeah, my yeah. Bone. yeah right. Anyway, I want to say that live here. Next yeah. meeting, bring a bring a little cool. You know. Sounds good. All right. Sounds good. All right. Yeah. We're going to call you over and you sit side track. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Don't even worry about uh, it. Are you doing? It's all right. Are you all set? Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. Uh, uh, another bit. Oh, yeah, I mean it's it's on you. You're the chairman. Okay. Whatever. Okay. Yeah. Seven o'clock. I call the Bellingham at the meeting of Bellingham Board of Health for April second, twenty twenty four. Myself, Vince Forty Chair, Vice Chair Rick Gilberti, Member Richard Martinelli, Agent Dylan Levante, Minutes Clerk Laura Renaud, and any other guests. Okay. First order of business is minutes from March nineteenth. I make a motion. We accept the minutes as typed. From mm -hmm. March 19th. Second. Okay. okay, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, abstain. It's okay. It's okay. I guess we're going to leave tobacco and food off. I don't know. Yeah, you just didn't have any updates. Health agent updates. School inspections. Okay, so, um, yeah, I did all the school inspections. Those, I completed them all okay. Tuesday. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, pass with flying colors. Uh, okay. Introduce okay. myself to Liz Bell. Right. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's no qualms. Okay. Everything was nice and good. Um, I also inspected the truck, like you asked. Yeah, okay. I got a picture of it, which um, okay. I can show it to you that's if you fine. want. No, it's, it's, essentially, you know. it's essentially a box truck. Correct. That's got like wooden shelves right. on either side, right. and they have, um, depending on the meal, they'll have like different delivery devices to either keep them warm or cooled. Right. They have like the like the almost like the pizza delivery bags, right. like that Domino shows up with right. or whatever. Um, they have those for like big meals or like, you know, stuff from that's in the, like the big pans or keep the hot, they have refrigerated to keep it cold. And, um, and yeah, everything goes straight from like the middle school where it's cooked to directly to the school. So there's no like to this school to that school. It's all Good. middle school, direct, middle school, direct, middle school, direct. Okay. So, so pick them all up and go all over. Correct. Right. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. It's all, it's all direct trips. So, um, yeah, I didn't see any issues with it. Okay. Everything was really good. Truck was clean. Okay. Yeah. Truck was really Some clean. Everything was good. Times that truck has been seen hauling furniture and stuff. stuff yeah. And, hauling. and then I think when, uh, Robbie first did the inspections, not that just to bring you guys up to speed on that is they had plastic containers. And we said, you know, we'd like to have stainless, you know, stuff like that. If it's yeah. food, it's not like, as you said, in the pizza delivery thing, that's fine. Just so, you know, in case it, everything's got to be at temp, it'll be at temp if it's stainless steel, plastics. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay, great. How about 419 Maple Street? So, 419 Maple Street. I want to put this thing to bed. Okay. Okay. So, I am very much of the sound of mind that to fill you guys in, right. basically what's been going on. And I have some pictures. I'm sorry we didn't get the chance to throw them into the packet in time, yeah. but you guys can just pass my phone back and forth. Essentially, there's a there's a culvert right here. There's right. a septic, uh, a sewer opening, right. yeah. and um, yeah. so if you if you that's where it is, right, right outside the door. door. No, oh, if you, yeah, if you swipe to the right real quick, then right. yeah. 
So that's the inside. That's what we've been talking about this whole time cut about PVC how it's, it's a PVC pipe cut in, in half. half. And um, that's where all the water came into this yeah. system. Yeah, so that was where the issue was. Right, right. And so we determined, or well, it wasn't myself and Vinny, that it was determined that the water wasn't necessarily coming from the ground. It was coming from the walls of that um, chamber, chamber, essentially. And so uh, you had vocalized very strongly right. about getting that solid. Right. And I, like, you know, I wholeheartedly agree with you. Right. But I double checked with Roger, and he didn't see any. He unfortunately, he was like, you know, it does. It's not fall into my. Code. Okay, so if he says it doesn't fall into his. I, I just needed to know that. Yeah, here's the scoop. When all this water was raining in this brand new system, it was coming because the sides of the what do you want to call it, storm yeah. drain were leaking. So the engineer says, "Well, we're going to seal that up with grout, and then it won't be a problem anymore." I said, "I don't care if you do that." You are not going to have a half pipe. I thought maybe it was like the washed fish run or somebody really wants to see the sewage going. I think, but it's a know. clean out, I think, is the, is the, is the reason for it. Yeah. And I, and while I, well, I'll put it this way here. My feelings is if this gets clogged, you do like everybody else in the world. You hire a railroad and they clean it. They don't need to go down in there. First of all, what that's goes, a cool. Huh? What goes through the pipe? Sewage. Sewage. From the, all the toilets. To the tank, which is about a eighth of a mile away, it's like the other end of the building. I guess my only my only thing is with the fact that four nineteen has been an issue for right. as long as it has. Right, right. I am think this going to slow it up. I don't. I think it would. Okay. I, because right. because no matter what, to get a full pipe into there, if you go yeah. here. Yeah. But at this point, the uh, plumbing inspector says he's yeah. fine with it. Yeah, right. But and I so, need him to take himself out of it because. Once he does that, you know, this would never be allowed in anybody's septic system. Because right? but to get a to, to get know, a solar I know, pipe, they'd I'm have to... saying like whoever did yes. that, and I'm thinking see how the contract to a solid pipe where you just cut both in, put two boots and two front cones. Yeah, with right. Right. right, right. It's not a big dilemma. Right. The it's issue nothing, is there's nothing not rocket science to do it, it's just cut right. Four four clamps. Right. And a piece of pipe, if that's going to show all that, yeah. That's, that's I mean, true, but, it's more so. But going with Ritz, it's the plumbing inspector, and he's the guy that should be looking at it. Yeah, it should be because within 10 feet of the building, right? However, when the interface wall, but he is, doesn't care yeah, at this point. And my concern is yeah, this has been going on yeah. for seven months to get the eight pipe. months. Well, no, this there? is what caused the problem. No, 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 I don't. The insult, the injury, you know what I'm worried about? This will happen again. Is not the wide enough to get a pipe in. So to get, a, get it, like it'll fail that system. We already have thousands of gallons of it, but so that, that's between them and the other how, engine. How, how deep would you say this is? About eight I'd feet? say eight or ten. Eight, eight or ten. They had an issue with it coming up with sewage coming up in the floor. Not that I know. No, no. What happened was water came into it. So what they did was they paid a guy to dig the storm drain yeah. that's adjoining on the back end. So a twenty foot wall of those. Two by four by two blocks. Okay. He dug it two feet below that. I'm going, okay. It should have never been that pipe like that. If that hole that filled all the way up was solid pipe, that's the issue. We would have never had a problem with the septic system. And they couldn't figure it out. They didn't want to figure it out. Because they that refused was the house to spend pipe money. That chamber the, was. Yes. So the water was I'm going to tell you what this is right now. That pipe is the engineer right. said, so if that was solid, when that chamber was comp, if it cost hundred thousand dollars, it would have just done with this But these people have it would have done came up, and then all of a sudden that lid would have. I let it go. It's still been a similar issue in July. I am of the sound of mine. Obviously, that because it has been such a long issue, you know, you shouldn't have taken. it. the point is, I want this whole system. to us now don't have a code to enforce because they'll never know. Inspectors okay with it? We'll know it because that range should just fail. Let it be. But at that point, if it's and then you should just put the system down and the engineer. I would do it. I give them and the contract. Well, no, it's more help at that point. Because when I went out that site, yeah, tanks were blown off and the covers were blown right off because what's the the D boxes, you know, and and I should have. I should have shut him down. Sorry to cut you off. Go. Rick Rick had a really good idea. Do you yeah. want to share that real quick? Go. What, what if we hey, hey, you guys are talking all together. I can't understand what anybody's saying. Sorry. No, no you're no, all no, good. Okay. Thank you. All right. Go ahead. All right. Rick, Rick, here's go. my idea on it. Whereas the pipe's been cut and it's for basically for sewage, and they haven't had an issue with sewage coming up in that area. 
why don't we just put it that it's going to be we'll check it once a year once every six months or whatever we'll go out and look at it open open a bit and look if at any time we see raw sewage up a foot high or you pick the level inside that hole at which point we'll shut them down because they have the to put yeah and then this way here you're going with the plumbing inspector Right. You know what I mean? You're saying okay to him because you don't want to argue with him that much. Right. And then being in the Board of Health, you just want to make sure that they're going to be okay with business. Mm -hmm. And if raw sewage isn't coming out and it's just water flowing through, it's not hurting anybody. But they got to seal the top so that the the stuff can't come out. Well, you're saying there's no sewage goes in that pipe. Just water. It's got to be. No, it is. Sewage goes through that because Correct. obviously that's how it has to get to Correct. the septic tank. Yes, but what, what he is saying no. is if right. we, we're going to go at rip six month intervals, six we're going to we're going to rip that manhole over. Open, right. okay. And if we look down there and at any point there is, let's say, effluent, uh, effluent uh, yeah, right. anything in there, right. shut them down solid pipe. Then okay. Just okay. It. Shut them down. No fine. No, shut nothing down. at all. You know, Not a tight tank. We got to shut them down. Wait, get, but you got to give them a letter. Yeah. Right. Right. You know, give them a letter. Yes. Yeah. What the board of health is going to do. Right. 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 Which okay. And I think that'll work for everybody. Okay. In okay. So the letter will stay. You will be out every six months. Someone will. Not your job to get a back injury. Someone will lift that cover for you. You will inspect it. I would say take a picture. Yeah. We're going to start doing a lot of things where we take pictures. Definitely. Yeah, you know, we used to do this a lot. Yeah. There's a camera somewhere. I was going to say, not camera. to go on a brief tangent, right. but Rick and I have actually discussed about that's one of the things that I think would be. I mentioned it to him this week when I we was there, no proof. when we went to the class. Correct. Um, I think the office needs or the Board of Health needs a camera. We do have one. A video camera so, right. and a regular uh, digital camera. Correct. That way, anytime he takes pictures, it's not on his phone. We don't have to look like right. this. Right, right, right. Um, because I've been using my phone for everything. Right. And Rick Probably made a good is, point. Yeah. At the top, if it, we, we if it have, ever yeah. gets to a problem where we're being sued for Correct. something, your, they your take phone. his phone. Yeah, everything. Yeah. Yeah, that's whereas if it's the camera, correct. All we deal with is the little SD cards correct. and we move on from so there. we have a digital camera. We do not have what Rick just said, a, a camera with other than the camera that we use outside for living. We need a camera that has an SD card. Yeah. And then you, you can have Laura load it on. I'm sure they make, they make cameras function. that have that function that I can video and take pictures with an SD, you know, yes, high yes. tech yes. nowadays. Yes. So I can okay. probably get one camera for correct. both can we right things, cool right. Yeah, so let's do that. Motion. We'll make a motion on that. And I'll make a motion that we uh, buy, purchase a video digital camera for the Board of Health for our inspections. Second. Okay, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, abstain, so carry. So if you can look that up or have Laura look it up. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I'll get some know, prices. I'll look around. You know, uh, I'm also going to, I think maybe place. a good person to reach out to is maybe Karen, because I'm Correct. just thinking tech wise, she might know stuff. She might. Um, and I'll just, I'll look around, get some good options. And at the next meeting, I'll present what I found and we'll take it from there. And something also that works in low lux light, because when you're shooting at a manhole, you'll never see it with a regular totally. camera. Totally Second yeah. of all, um, well, I mean, unless it's at least down to a one. And then there are times We've had to go out in an emergency at night and nobody has a camera. So it's like, you know, totally. What yeah, we do no, is I use our own. Yeah, and that's I, not a good thing. I definitely think we need a camera in the office. Yeah, because what I think will happen, as Rick stated, if it ever goes to court, one, they're going to take your phone. Two, they're probably going to say, you know, you can't mix personal, you know, with business. With business. Why exactly. are you doing that? Well, that's why I brought it up. Correct. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I just don't think it's. Uh, no, it's not a good idea. Yeah. Uh, okay, awesome. Yeah, it that may not be illegal if you're photographing Bobbix for help stop. Yeah. And the board of health doesn't have a chance. Yeah, it's not it's illegal. It's, it's, it's just, just it's not best management. management. It's right? best, it's no best right? Yeah, I don't want to give up. <laughs> I don't no, want to have to do that. that. Personal stuff on my phone. Right. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. it could be, what do, you, what do you call it, Um, impounded for a while. Yeah, yeah exactly. You're out of phone. Yeah. yeah. That's actually a really good segue into the next one. Septic supplies. Right. <laughs> so, um. This is, I'll make it brief, I uh, spent, uh, Laura, do you know the exact amount? I wasn't sure if you still had the receipt, but I think it was like 121-ish dollars. I went over to Home Depot, I bought a shovel, I bought uh, uh, like, like almost like one of those breakers with like the curve on the end Perfect. to like get the lids open. Um, I bought a long level and a short level and I bought some work gloves. 
So um, I just knew that those were the two things you told yep. me to get for yep. inspections. And then I wanted the shovel and the pick for opening manholes. Right. Um, so I think the other thing you should uh, buy is a heavy duty flashlight. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. the flashlight I have. Add that to the list. Things. Yeah. Um, what's, yeah. What's the one that's uh, uh, like? Well, the Akel lights. The, the, yeah. It's the yeah. ones that the police use. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Get one that's really good because definitely. somebody can go like that because you can shoot. Well, it. looking into septic, looking into those holes, right. they're dark and you can't see. Yeah, you crap, definitely you can't see. Need, right, right. You know, get to in the morning. Yeah. What's the other oh, company? Yeah, big, yeah. yeah they go get some they have cameras. Yeah. Not walking. It's uh, something, man. Anyway, the other we'll thing you need up. is a uh, tape measure. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Definitely. Absolutely. Yeah, grab measurements are critical if they try to change it. And go like, eh, you know, whatever. 100%. Yeah. Do you have a budget um, that you work on? Or we have, have the budget. Yeah. Do we have to say give $100 and $500? Well, we, we don't make know, we have an area that's like professional services and equipment. We have equipment. There's usually not a lot. Sometimes the equipment yeah. is more like office. You're allowed, you're allowed to go out like right. We're talking about going to King. Correct. Yeah. 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 We have yeah. a whole yeah. people buy it and it will go to the board of health. Okay. And yeah. those yeah. issues, those things are put on itemized and all that. Well, I was just going to say if you didn't yeah. have it, that's good. Yeah. And, and, and it would be totally. Yeah. The yeah. other yeah. thing, like yeah. the camera we have somewhere. That becomes like an inventory of all items. Every once in a while, someone says, "Hey, I need to see these things." Mm -hmm. Computers like that because they're durable items and they're usually expensive. You know, yeah, want to make sure level tape know. measure shovel. No one's going to care about that. Yeah, except you know, I just more so wanted to tell you, you guys it. that because I spent the money. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to be and responsible. That, just so, Thank you. yeah, just so we're clear on it, we bring money um, in. Right. We do have office equipment and office supplies, so I think we'll take it out of the equipment because yeah. we don't use that often. Correct. But right. supplies is. We bring money in. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, I was just saying we do have money that comes in on the inspections, on inspections. all the different things, I uh, don't do that duties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's money okay. in the budget to buy yeah, yeah. this stuff. There is. Yeah, there is. There okay. is. Um, and the new budget will be coming up July 1st. We can Correct. add in more if we need it. Yeah. But I think at this point, yeah, that's a good list of uh, items. Definitely. Oh, yeah. yeah, I think so. I think so, too. I um, think once the Board of Selectmen and the budget people certified the budget, which I believe was the end of January, and it happened somewhere in February, yep. where it has to be all prepped. Yeah. So our budget for 2025 mm -hmm. is already fixed. Yeah, it should be right, it right. should be all set right, right, though. Right. Everything was either level yeah. funded or right. increased. Right. So okay. we're yeah. we're doing really but well. Obviously, like with your situation, you know, if you'd got it before, we we had the salary worked out with five for title five inspector, five for soil evaluator. Yeah. But if that but didn't we, happen, yeah, we factored that, that in. Was it, we fa yeah, we factored that in for the for that year. So I'll still that'll be because occasionally yeah. what's happened with we already covered health. that out. Or other departments is you have something that was like goes to town meeting and was like not funded, so they have to what do you call it? They have to throw this article in that brings it to make it official. Official, yeah. 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 But so, um yeah. funny so, enough, I know we literally just talked about a camera. The camera we're all set. The camera's on there actually for a, a different camera. Go. Because another thing that um I finally reached out, I reached out to Franklin. Do you remember at our fog inspection? Oh, yes. When Jesse had mentioned they were getting that camera truck? Oh yeah. So I reached out to them. It was a camera truck. Okay. I believe so. Okay. Yeah. So um I reached out to them and I cc Jesse on it just to kind of see like I was like, hey, where are you guys at with this grant? Do you need any help? We'd love to throw in on this. We'd love to get involved because so I want to use it. <laughs> like, right. how do I help? Yeah. And um they said that it seems like they're kind of in the writing slash application process already, but they did say that they're like they're more than willing to share it, you know, because it's it's a really it's a really savvy piece of equipment. Yeah. It's actually it's the truck itself. Right? Yeah, I think it's no, right. it's the truck itself. Self. Like the okay. the truck it has, and it's got one of the mechanized cameras, so you right. drive it. You don't have to sit there and crank right. the thing. Right. Right. So uh, it's really high tech, and I think that that would help us for like situations like we had uh, in the fall where that. Uh, there was a situation over on Blackstone Street where the woman wanted to get her area camera and she had to, you know, call another person just to get a camera. Yeah. I could have gone down there with that thing and I could have just cambered it and done it myself. 
So um, I think it would be beneficial. So I just want to let you guys know I also reached out about that, and that's in the works. So, so. great. Perfect. Do we have to make a motion on that? No, I don't think no, so. That was more so just letting you know. Grant, that, frankly, yeah. our budget okay. that will come out of. But like Dylan said, if they need, if they said, hey, yeah, you can help us write something, probably they were already set to do that. Yeah, I would assume they've already gotten all of their applications yeah. and paperwork. But that'll be but like, kind of sort of like a mutual aid thing. Exactly. Yeah. 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 yeah, I just wanted to offer yeah. so that I don't feel at sleepy. some point we'll probably have to do a memorandum of understanding Correct. between us yes. and them. Yeah. yeah, we probably will. Yeah. That way, if something happens right. while you're in the truck, Right. Covered. Totally. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Okay. Just like a mutual aid thing when they yeah. come, you know, they're they're covered. Hopefully. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Ruth, any updates? Which is. Yeah. So I guess the real update I, I have, have is that. Uh, yeah. The real update that I have is that it's this month. It's in exactly 25 yeah. days. Uh, we're doing pretty well. Uh, we still have yet to hear back from the groups, but as I was saying, okay. I'm totally expecting, because we told the groups to get back to us by the 13th, what I predict is that they're probably told all of their groups, hey, we need to have a headcount by the 13th, Correct. get all your paperwork in. They're probably gonna send all of that in email form to myself, Michelle, Laura, slash the office, and we're gonna come back on the 16th to a flurry of paperwork, emails, and calls about Earth Day. That's what I predict. Right. So yeah, I'm probably, fully expecting yeah. that the day of our next meeting, I'll be able to come in and say, hey, we have a ton of volunteers. Um, so, but besides that, um, we're doing pretty well. I think the tabling event is starting to go well. Uh, Laura, do you know how many people we have? We actually have a decent amount of people that are going to come down and uh, set up tables and stuff. So, uh, well, we we have the garden club is going to do a table, and we have the community garden where people can buy their plots and and learn about the community garden. Okay. We also have the rain barrels, um, and I reached out to the Lions Club, thinking maybe they could do the eyeglass um donations. And Hannah actually was speaking about the textile bins where people can bring their clothes yep. and textiles. Yeah. Dylan and I really didn't get a chance to talk to her in detail about that. We just got an email. So what do you think about that? The textiles? Um, I don't know. I think it's a pretty good idea, especially for that day, because textiles in particular, are, are you really, are you, you're allowed to throw that in like Planet Aid, like bags of clothes and stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What you can't do technically is uh, they, they frown on obviously underwear, undergarments. Yeah, obviously. Um, but I mean, I think maybe it would be a good idea. Like mm -hmm. Totally shredded. Yeah. Yeah, totally. If you say uh, you contact Planet Aid, they could send a truck down to have it centrally located where we're all at, where we're all coming back to. Yeah, instead of us taking all the clothes to different bins. different bins. Oh no, that's not what it would be. Hannah found this organization that I guess has worked with several towns where they would do exactly that. It's they not wouldn't... Planet Aid, but it's yeah, a similar it. organization that comes down. They drop a big old trailer in the parking lot the day of. It gets filled up, and they'll pick it up, and it's gone the day. All right, fine. Okay. That's so, good. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's um, good. The only other thing that I think we came up with as a thought for Earth Day was um, we will be having the free pizza, but an idea I came up with is uh, recently we've been having a lot of mobile food vendors applying for permits and applications and stuff. I'm thinking maybe we could do, like, food vendors and have them come down and be like, hey, we're going to be having this event. There's going to be a whole bunch of hungry people. We're going to have free food, but it's only cheese pizza. Correct. So maybe you come down and you do hot dogs and you can do your Philly cheese steaks and you can do this and you can do that. And everyone, and we can have a whole bunch of food options. You guys can make money, make a whole thing. Right. Um, so yeah, I just have to re reach out to the mobile food vendors. But uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Laura, do you have anything else on Earth Day? Nope, I think we're doing good. And in a couple of weeks, like you said, we'll touch base with everybody to make sure, you know, our numbers are doing okay with the donations and food vendors. Maybe we can pin people down in two weeks. Right. Definitely. We have, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, the Gator trucks, you know, they're already set up. They'll take our groups to different areas. And then the seniors. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. 
they're well, already right. secured. Yes. Perfect. Okay. And then Dylan and whoever else, the, the truck can have bags. So sometimes they cycle through. Yeah. You know. Well, I was also going to be going we, we around. Sometimes and, run out of bags. I'm going to be going around in, the inspe in my inspections vehicle. Perfect. I'm going to have extra bags with me. Right. I'm going to have a sharps container. Yeah. Good. Um and. I don't know. I guess maybe gloves, maybe supplies, gloves, yeah. whatever people. Although need. I typically use the like uh, the orange or green or whatever. Yeah, and actually, they... Home Depot right now is having a sale on the uh, like gloves. Right. Uh, I think it's twelve pairs for five bucks. Yeah. Oh right. wow. Right. Yeah. Right. They're not very expensive. No, and they're good uh, because they get the rubber on. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Laura, is... we should probably look into that. Maybe they usually we could get. I was gonna say maybe we could get a, a donation. Card. Oh. a gracious gift card donation and then i could go in and spend said gift card on that gloves right, right. yeah yeah they they usually just give us the gift card and we can buy what we want but right. maybe we Beautiful. can contact yeah. them like sooner rather than later no definitely i think that would be a good idea yeah i can reach out to them do you we can call them like this week tomorrow. me and you tomorrow yeah, I sent them. I sent them a letter, but we will definitely call and see if we can pin them down. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. All right. Okay. Uh, so uh, the next thing was basically special duties. The health agent confirm in writing. It's the same exact thing. It is. Yeah. Uh, right. I just wanted to put it in writing. That's fine. Right. Thank you. <laughs> but there's a uh, the originals in the to be signed folder. Okay. Over by you, Rick. All right. Yeah, that's good. So it's just, it's just, yeah. All right, I make a motion that we accept the duties for uh, Dylan from April 1st, 2024. Okay, all those in favor say aye. 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 That's a good idea, Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's done. Yeah, that's done. My ears are old. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm okay. never quiet, but <laughs> a lot of my ears are That's far right after. Next year, I think, is on the calendar. Yep. Okay, okay, so now we have um, Port Health calendar for April 2024, employee calendar. So, so Let's see. We have um, is Luke's it? going to is it April twentieth? We're with the um, Marlborough MHB, I think, or is it May? Oh, I thought it was April. Damn. I'm gonna have to double check. No, no, we'll get past I don't I remember it off the top of my head. I believe it should be in the last meeting. Thanks. I think it is April, and I just didn't put it on there, but okay. I will make sure double check right. tomorrow. Yeah, because you know why it was a Saturday and the following Saturday's birthday. Yeah. I'm, oh, I'm positive okay. about it. Yeah. Because we all put in for the, uh, what do you call it, the funding for that. So, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yep. I know. Yep. I think we said we'd meet down here at. Um, it's yeah. the 20th of it's April, Saturday, Saturday yeah. all day. Yeah. It's all, yeah. Yep. Yeah. MAHB certification program. So, okay, uh, I'll make that note on the calendar. Yep. Okay. So I think Dylan, we had said, you know, yeah, you know, it's usually like eight thirty to nine or nine thirty is registration. So if we're there, we leave here at eight. We should get there by what? Or maybe quarter of eight, seven. Where three. is it again? It's in Marlboro. Okay. Yeah. So that's what? How, uh, like forty-five minutes up four ninety-five, not even. Yeah. Yeah, less about a half hour. It's yes, yeah, it's, it's about halfway to Acton, and we just did that yeah, the other yeah. day. So that was, that, that's an hour. Right? <laughs> yeah, about. I it actually you know, wasn't too bad. But yeah, it was an accident. So Laura, can you little, just look up uh, yeah. or Dylan? Or let's let Laura see if you can look up when the start is of the MHB on that Saturday morning. I believe it's like eight thirty is registration. So. I can I can confirm yeah. that at, tomorrow or something. So I'll if it's all you guys, and if be it's like, hey, eight it's to eight thirty or eight to nine, I know the program doesn't stop till nine in Eugene. So you know, you come in any time during the hour, you get your stick of thing, and you get your agenda, syllabus, whatever yeah. you call it, and then in your coffee, and then you go yeah, and breakfast, yeah, yeah whatever. Mm -hmm. Usually oh. pretty crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
too much calories for me, but the lunch. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's the 20th. We have a MHB certification. Okay, and then I just talked about Earth Day, and then we're closed on Patriots Day. That's yep. pretty much it for April, though. Okay. Oh, it is. It starts at 8 a.m. and gets out at uh, 3 30. Okay, good. So, so if we want to do. Uh, this is May 22nd, though. Oh, this is Miha. Uh, this me. is a different. Well, different. Well, that's different. Yeah, that's different. Yeah. Yeah, that's. Um, on mental health and stuff like that. Okay. So I'm trying to be okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you know, by the way, just in the news, just you know, I mean kind of like I'm used to the old system. Um, and I'm never gonna get over it. Uh some state just uh banned what it marijuana and a few other things. Uh, just with their Supreme Court banned it and said, listen, we're doing like the feds. I can't say it was one that approved hmm. recreational stuff. But yeah. I think there's just a bet that we're done with. So it's yeah. not legal anymore in your state? In their state, yes, it's not. That's good. They went to the state Supreme Court. They were I'm sure the marijuana shops went to the Supreme Court and said, you can't do this. You, you allowed the voters to pass it. They said, we can't. The governor said, I'm done with this. Probably all his cities and towns in that state, the police officers and the police chief are probably saying, you know, we have enough with alcohol, but we got drunk drivers, sort of drug drivers, you know, and you can't measure it like you can alcohol. You have to get a search warrant for the body fluids. You know, it's like, I don't know, the criminals have all the rights, and you know, the people who follow the rules have none. And, you know, I'm seeing that, you know, with my brother's death. It's like, I can't handle it. Anyway, yep. So okay, let's look at this um, maintenance log you have for. Uh, yeah, that's kind of just to show you guys. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Uh, yeah, because everybody's all. Um, and they're building them up. Yeah, so everyone who doesn't have one of these from a business already who comes and pumps it right. receives this, and they're required to fill this out right. themselves. Right. So every single time, so this mm -hmm. this is for businesses that service their own crowd. Correct. Building permit blanket, or is it just this right here? It's it's just this right here. They're supposed to because the tag, the like the tags that we're referring yeah. to that this is based off of is the same thing. It's just like a smaller piece of cardboard paper right. that is just supposed to be near the grease trap. Right. So well, it's I, either I'm some curious because at the gas station, because I ran a gas station, I own one, and we had to have it on wall. Yeah, and yeah, that time we did something we correct. Yeah, that's yeah. going to probably go under the Bureau of Resource Protection. It's a little different than this. No, because I'm thinking my sumps. Yeah, you know I mean? yeah, yeah. I think it doesn't. I've seen, honestly, I've seen people just kind of literally stick it to the wall up, up on top of that. Right, I've seen right, people right. get one of those little sleeve, plastic sleeves oh, and right. stick that to the wall and put it inside yeah. of it. Do we supply these? Uh, the the, one? the the sleeves? No, no, no. no. Oh, okay. that yeah. That's when you're going, you're gonna give them that. Yes. Yeah. I would think. I don't know if it was me. You brought me this. I say thanks. I put it on the con. But if you brought it and you had a nice little plastic piece to put in, it's so cheap. Yeah, definitely. I think that would be better. And I think that was like dollar twenty nine or something. Right. Yeah. I I agree. I don't think it's Richard. Sense. This gets lost when you come in. Right, but if you give oh, it, no, totally. You give it, you I didn't think of it that way. That's a good point. Win. Yeah. Because, I mean, for eight years, I, I told my guys, well, for eight years, we ran it, and we had a young, which is all, so a young guy to come in, and he said, why don't you try this? And why don't you try not share with you? No, totally. So, I agree with you. It a lot better with the little plastic. Yeah. And now, once you put it on your pegboard, it stays there. Correct. Because you know it. Yeah, I agree with you. Pile yeah. 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 I, think, I think that's a great idea. I think well, we should do that. Just to add something to this. I guess you go in and all of a sudden, geez, she was right here and got lost. Yeah. Now what do we do? Oh, geez. Do you need a motion for that? Uh, can you just do it? Laura, do you think we need a motion for that? Or grease paint, trap maintenance, a lot. I don't know. I think it's I okay. would do a motion just to be sure. Okay. But... Yeah, it doesn't hurt. So I make a motion that you encase these in plastic before giving out to the people. I'll second. Okay, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, abstain, so carry. Great. Okay. So Dylan completed FEMA IS 
700. I still have all of the other ones, and I am working on that. <laughs> Thank you. Now I have NIMS 100, 200, 300, 400. You're young. <laughs> you're young. Oh, yeah. It's not a big deal. Yeah, no. But um, yeah. usually, yeah, one or two on here, and then you go into the, uh, I think instead of NIMS, they go into instant command system. ICS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. Anyway. Okay, so the other thing is, is this a, a copy of the um, CBD psychoactive substance regulation? Is this something we're looking to? Eventually... That's just that's just a copy of the Salem draft. That's the it's same Salem ones draft. that I sent okay. to you. Okay. Um, honestly, unfortunately, I wish I had more updates, but I really don't on this one. I sent it to council, and I'm still waiting for the okay. response. So uh, I guess we can kind of throw that one on hold because yeah. I'm waiting for council's mm -hmm. response. So that's where that one's at. Uh, the only other, I guess, somewhat news that I have about it is uh, I did have an interdepartmental head meeting today, and I did inform all of the other interdepartmental heads that we are planning on passing this legislation and we're working on these regulations. So we don't know. I Although I don't know, I'm... Ultimately, admit I'm fully expecting some sort of pushback. Yeah. I don't know where it will come from, how much it will be, right. but someone's probably going to get upset about this. Right. So I just wanted to let all of the department heads know we're working on this, so we're all on the same page. And I wanted to make Did it... anybody have any objections? No, I everyone was just... Yet. It was very much like a, uh, okay, sounds good kind of response. Yeah. Okay. I wanted to make it uh, especially knowledgeable to um, Chief Fitzgerald. Right. That because I told him I was like, hey, I want to tell everyone, but the two people who are probably going to be dealing with it the most are me and you. Yeah. So I wanted to let you know right. we're doing this right. and we're working on it. Right. So I think this is a good segue and it fits in well because when we passed our mind altering something so low, I added Delta 8 and 9 there. We sort of didn't think it wasn't a problem yeah. two years ago. Uh, yeah, that CBD and um, cannabinoids mm -hmm. got worked in and that actually you know we weren't worried about the manufacturing we worried about the sale of it no store shall sell it so this now puts in the cbd with cannabinoids and also adds the words manufacture just in case someone's in their back room making it yeah you know you know versus getting it from a country like china or another state where it's imported from a, another country and again, oh. it doesn't have USPS standards. Well, that's the other thing. And it DCC, doesn't have. If you sell you marijuana, if you, you sell cannabis in, in the state of Massachusetts, it has to be grown in Massachusetts. Correct. That's a CCC regulation. Yeah. You can't import over state lines, anyways. Right. Right. So, yeah, I, I just. Uh, I sold. I yeah. we're out with the deal with the people that grow from so. <laughs> What is it? What's the deal well, with people I believe that grow once the cannabis control got control of recreational. They just eliminate all the licenses for people who do six or seven. Yeah, there's no there's no licenses or permits so required. Six and 12 and eight yeah, and you're allowed to have there's so there's you're per there's six, six there's per six per adult, but there is a cutoff. I don't remember what it is exactly. It's either twelve or eighteen. Right. Because they're saying like you're not yeah. allowed to have like seven adults in your house Correct. and have like twenty some odd pounds of like it, it is twelve. It's six and twelve. Yeah, they cut it off. But at 12. I don't even know now because we used to issue the permit. But that's not. With but that's not police. board of health. I don't think no. at this point because of where the problem. yeah because of where the laws are at with it. That aspect of it is police. We don't really touch that okay. right now. But what happened is I think what happened once we passed recreational. The we have to use that license. The police department used to go out and check it with us. Now what happens is you get your medical or your recreational at the store. So I believe you can't grow anymore. In your I, own I house. think you're allowed you to. Are. It's because, because you're, you're yeah. Because not, there's a lot, a lot of well, because okay. you can, but you're supposed to have a board help for that. Well, correct me if I'm wrong. Bucks. The main reason, yeah. so the police are getting involved with marijuana itself because there's more actual regulations and laws right. written with Correct. marijuana that right. they can enforce. Right. They are not touching the, the CBD, the psychoactive right. stuff, right. because it's still so much of a gray area that they're like, you know what? 
because there's no laws for us to enforce and Correct. it is a gray area, we're not going to touch it. Right. We're going to we keep our guys safe. This. So we're doing it. So, okay. yeah, but we're in a good spot with that. So, uh, okay. so yeah, but NEPOC. Okay. Yeah. So when you get information back from uh, town council. I'm expecting then, to have it by the next meeting. Then, yeah, then present it to the board. We will take yep. out the word Salem and add in Bellingham. And I think we should definitely, Laura, for this, um, once Dylan gets it back, if you get it back from town council, we probably need to do a public hearing because there's people probably that, like lose their mind if we pass the regulation without public. Probably. Yeah, we'll do that. That's fine. I'm fine with that. Okay. I mean, and what we can yeah. do is the only reason why you should be going up the road space out of your mind. Right. Into safety. What we could do probably is to when you have the public hearing, usually once we, I close the public hearing, um we can make it it'll enact the next meeting. Yeah. Because if not, people will be staying. Really, you're gonna do this? You know, you know, we will take feedback, but our only purpose here. Protect the people, or you is, could is pub, protect public health, or you could do an executive session afterwards and send everyone home and pass it. We could do it that way, well, whatever's yeah. covered, whatever. yeah. but yeah. So, oh, we could just simply vote that night after yeah. close the hearing, definitely. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, maybe we just do that. One. Okay, yeah. so next item is um, discuss food and security stuff and all. Okay, interns, uh, don't don't and I spoke today uh, a, a while back. Uh, Probably two weeks ago, and again, been so busy with my brother. Um, a person called, you know, Dylan's aware that, that a neighbor was burning windows, construction debris. So the following week, you know, and she was able to supposedly call, we call it the general number anonymously. Oh, she didn't was? Work. Yeah. Yeah. So what happened was the following week, he wasn't burning windows and construction debris. He was burning. Recyclable plastics, plastic bags, which, first of all, it violates the recycling law. You, and you can't incinerate. That plastic is almost the same toxicity as the other plastics and stuff. So, so she said, I have another thing I want to talk to you. So she sent me a message. Well, she gave me a message on my voicemail that there's an area of town, and I'll leave it alone for now. Where she lives, which is um, how do you call it? Like, there are two streets named different um, names, okay. but it's the courts or circles that embody each other. So it's like a T yeah. or an L, whatever it is. There are total, I don't know how many residents, let's say it's 20, 25 residents out there. On one street, five of them develop cancer. And on another street, five of them develop cancer. Problem is, one on each street didn't make it. I don't know what the time period was. So now there's eight of them. And she says, can we get some kind of like study study done? And I said, well, this is perfect for an epidemiologist. But what I had said prior to that was I had called either Laura or you. I said, let's get the DEP Bureau of Resource Protection. I need to know if there's any monitoring wells in that area. Because the stuff could have come from Mendon. Yeah. It could have come from there was an old building there, you know, there was a garage or so. I don't think so, but I don't know. Okay. There are gas pipelines. We know those don't leave. Basically, with so, the interns, we want to, because yeah. of, because we think that, you know, there's a specific area of town where there's and that, individuals yeah. that are having, that are essentially being diagnosed with cancer, then he wants to, um, have an intern, aka a PhD, master's yeah, yeah. Epidemiology. epidemiology student to potentially come down and intern with us and do the and do a study. Right. Uh, and try to figure out what could be the potential causes for these conditions. Um, so I told him that I would reach back out to my contacts. I'd have reached out to them. I'm going to time. write a book. So and um, know, yeah. not only that, but I also know that Hannah, uh, I believe, and conservation had some luck with, um, I think it was Northwestern's intern program. Okay. So I can also reach out to her okay. and just kind of figure out where she was at with that. Right. But um, that's where that one's at. So, so I'm going to start looking and doing a search. And I told Vinny, I was like, if you can give, give me 
he's gonna write up like a backbone, like yeah, a basic outline bullets. Outline, right. I'll flesh it out a little bit right. and then create more of a job description. Right. And I'm gonna start essentially searching for interns for that. And um yeah, so there's so two that. ways this happens. If whether we use Northeastern, Northwestern, or any other college that has a usually it's a five-year program, four years is to get your degree. Uh, or if it's a math, yeah. it's two years. But what happens is, uh, and if it's a PhD, it's four years. But because it includes a master's and two years beyond that. But what they usually do is a lot of schools, undergraduate wise, and some graduate, there's a post year that you really, how do I say it? You get credit towards your degree, your home, but you you don't get paid by the school. You still pay for that course, but. You, you can come and like in this case to a water help or to other another industry. It's like a capstone. I right. had to do it, right. and mm -hmm. I had to go. I would. I had to go work at a lab, Correct. and yeah. it was. I had to uh, in the semester. Right. I had to work a certain number of hours, right. and at the end of the semester, I had to create a project, write a paper, do something right. about my. It's sort of like a mini thing. My time there. Right. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, we were basically hoping to utilize one of those opportunities and be like, hey, we have a great opportunity for a really cool project. Come on down and help us out. Kind of a little quid pro quo situation where we get the help that we need in getting the study done and they get the credit that they need in order to further their degree. And um, the other thing that could happen, if, you know, if we, if we don't get the college end of it, the, D, the DPH, Department of Public Health, has grants. And I've seen one of these but there's a time frame. You have to get it in like six months before. Then they review them yeah. and they'll fund it first. They'll go and get somebody that has a point to fund it. Now, the other thing that's nice about an epidemiologist versus if we try to do this, we're going to have roadblocks as this. PHA, P, you know, personal health information, this family history information, all that we won't be able to get. Mm -hmm. Whereas an epidemiologist will say, listen, I'm going to track this out. The benefit to you is, first of all, the information will be secure. It'll be, you know, not available to anybody else. But it will generically produce a report saying, well, we found that it, it may be linked to the soils in that area got contaminated. It may be linked to the air. Well, Downstream from, it doesn't have to be a factory in Bellingham. It right. could be something in Menden or Milford that's yeah. causing this. Right. So anyway, but it could be groundwater. It could be drinking water. It could yeah. be other things, you know. Um, it, but it could just be yeah. genetics of the family. Yeah. They'll get into that. Right. And what's nice is sometimes those kind of studies means that future offspring and future dependents uh, in that family. genetic entity of that family will know that they've got a potential problem. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Like if it's there's breast nothing, cancer, there's nothing but you can get any ancestral so. maternal side of yeah of the you know you're the offspring of a mother and a father. So if it's a maternal side, it's your father's mother. It's your mother's mother. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And exactly. then it could be even yeah. a generation before that. The other nice thing, well, not so nice thing is today I got a call somewhere around Hartford Ave that. Someone else said, hey, you know, uh, I don't know how he found it. He just said, he said, I heard about the Board of Health trying to, uh, you know, research stuff like uh, cancer, stuff like that. He says, I have a, he said, I don't want to get into it, but he says, I have a family problem issue. And he says, so when are you going to do that? I said, well, we're quite far away from the actual boots on the ground. Yeah. I said, but I said, we are looking at this. We're trying to do an intern program, an epidemiologist. So people people are interested. So and so you know, Vinny's gonna write me that backbone. Right. I'm gonna flush it out. I'm gonna start searching and uh and yeah, we're so it's only two problem. people, yeah. but you know. But and so I'm gonna is, start is, with I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. start with the uh, I'm gonna start at the schools. I'm gonna hopefully get some luck there. If I don't, we'll go look at the look at the grant route and we'll take right. it from there. Okay. But do you right. want to go to NEPOC? Yeah. Okay, so um NEPOC. What about another thing? You said they were burning. Yeah, stuff, fight about it. Correct, them right correct, correct. That's exactly what I did. We have That's nothing good. to do with it. So no, no. Don't That's correct. what I did right away. Right. Uh, you have to have a permit. Yes, to do it. did have a permit, by the way. So you can't do it. But yet, this person did have a permit. Now, uh, he talked to uh, 
Alamonte. I talked to Lieutenant Alamonte. I told him right away. It's a violation for me. Next time they do it, they'll catch him. But they have to go down and catch him. But you're right. We're approaching it from the health end, but it's definitely a fire issue. I told her every single time, I'm like, you need to call the fire department because I can't even do anything unless that fire that fire report is generated Correct. and on that fire report it says that he's burning that that's when i can get involved Correct. until then i can't Correct. but um but yeah we already settled that right. one so, so go ahead okay so uh we have um epoc 1050 for rick i'm gonna get his title five i want to uh make a motion that we pay for me to go What's with the title five got it sure it's not with this group that's fine yeah, that's that's New England Independent okay. uh, yeah, yeah. Water yeah. Protection right. Control yeah. Commission, I it's think. Belmont. But it's yeah. yeah, it's Massachusetts Title V Soil Evaluated yeah, Certification it's Program. Right. It's the same thing. I, I'm going to. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and the amount of money is one thousand fifty dollars right. because we're yeah. members. Correct. Right. So I make a motion that we approve that. Okay. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Oh, same, so carried. Okay. And yes, I Vinny, you have to sign that that I'm actually a board member. Yeah. Hmm. Which is such a silly kind of thing. Like you I have, have a nine. Well, they don't want people to Jeez. totally. Right. And I have no flow. Well, I mean, the other thing too is uh, there's a slight discount. So what happens is. I think there should be a right. 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 yeah. individual uh, we call oh, we it. Sure. Okay. oh uh oh. it's a DPW, it's a DPW program. I'm not sure off the top of my head, but I think we have there might even be information on it in the lobby. Right. Right. But um street, I don't have anything else. No, I no, I already brought up that like other resident. So I think we're done. Well, let my family, Richard, finish oh, that pass on, and they put testers on the water slicker outside, and they would go every couple of days and they take samples from the houses. Right. Like, we'll okay, take your house and have them on the ground, right? Somebody else's house. And then they put monitoring wells with a padlock. Yeah. I come out there and suck those things. I just, I just right. remember them doing it, so I was just going to take them out. I'll we'll definitely call, reach uh, out to them, yeah. yeah. They could reach out to I'll reach out to them about that. Okay, yeah. Peter Ryan is not having yeah. water health and dry. Oh, what other quick thing in here? So, um, was it six, seven months, maybe a year ago? Margaret from the DEP resource area that does air quality. I happen to be going from the light at Rapid Refill onto Maple. Whoa, I could smell the asphalt plant quite all the way down to really? the packaging plant, High Street. So that's a big stretch, and there's a person who had complained. So I believe when they went out the state, they hadn't changed the filters in five years. So they're like catalytic converters. Yeah. So maybe oh, the carbon filters. I don't know. They yeah, don't. yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. So I mean, about, yeah. maybe we should just ask Margaret, a DEP resource air quality person, to get a lesson. But she's been there forever. Yeah, I work with just to make sure yeah. that uh, they're doing their turnovers. Yeah, I, I believe it was supposed to be every six months. Yeah, we can reach out to them. The reports could enough. be sent to DEP because they don't come out every time. Yeah. But it was quite the older. It was only one day, but that's the only day I went by. So I'm just yeah. saying. I didn't want it to get down to the resident who's a half a mile from the plant and oh, say, yeah. hey, <laughs> it's happening again. Yeah, yeah exactly. Because it's been a year. So they should have two reports to the state saying we change it. And whoever does it, it's like a state farm. You change this filter. You send it to the state, and you know you have to be certified to change that. So, mm -hmm. like, change your oil filter. You, you can do it yourself, or you get a service guy to do it. Yeah. But this is kind of like probably in a tower. Probably have to shut it down. I think at, the, at least the one at the marijuana facility is like right next to the building, so Correct. it's probably yeah. similar. Yeah. But so, yeah, I'll reach out. To them. Okay, just you yeah. know, just for the heck of it. But, just curious. Okay, I make a motion that we adjourn. Okay. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 Good night, Laura. Have a good night, Laura. Good night. See you good tomorrow. Night.